Number 15, a 0.5 kilogram mass suspended from a spring oscillates with a period of 1.5 seconds. How much mass must be added to the object to change the period to two seconds? All right, so here we have one case. All right, they tell us that the mass, there's a 0.5 kilogram mass that's attached to this spring, and they tell us the period is 1.5 seconds. What does period even mean? Well, period basically tells us the time for a single oscillation. That's what period is. It's the time per oscillation. Now, oscillation is basically the up and the down, okay? The time it takes to go up and then come back down is going to be 1.5 seconds. So, with this information, and we know it's oscillating, and we know it's a spring, and we know the spring can be defined by Hooke's law, and therefore we know that we can use this formula over here that relates the period to the mass and the spring constant, and it is t, the period of oscillation, will be equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass that's oscillating divided by the spring constant. So notice I know two things here, right? I know what the period is, and I also know what the uh, mass is. So what can I find from just knowing that those two pieces of information? I can find the spring constant, right? So basically, let's do some algebra. So we see here that the square root of the mass divided by the spring constant will be equal to the period divided by 2 pi. We simply have to square both sides to get rid of that square root, right? So here we have the mass over then uh, k will be equal to uh, t over then 2 pi. And basically now this whole thing, right, has to be squared, okay? And now all we need to simply do is basically just... Uh, Calculate so solve this for k. So now what I can simply do is just do a little quick substitution. So it's m divided by t all over 2 pi. That's going to be squared, and that's going to be equal now to the spring constant. So I can plug everything on in now. All right, so let's do that. So the mass, they told us, was 0.5. The period was 1.5. That's in terms of seconds, so that's good. That's squared. Basically, that whole thing is squared, so I'll just write this. All divided by 2 pi. That whole thing squared will equal then k. So let's see what k is equal to. So it's going to be 0.5 divided by now. Uh, 1.5 divided by 2 divided by 2 times pi. Make sure that whole denominator is squared. And then here we get 8.77. So we get about 8.77, and that's newtons per meter. Okay? So that's the spring constant. Now, how does that help me? Well, it helps me now because here I have this unknown case, right? Here now, we said they want to find out how much mass must be added. But let me change the question. Just tell me what the mass is, all right? What's the mass that has to be on this spring in order for the period to be two seconds? When we know now the spring constant, that's the whole point. Spring constant, it doesn't matter if I'm dealing with the spring here or the spring here because it's the same spring. So it's the same spring constant, right? So now I can actually find that mass, okay? I can actually find the mass now, and so let me let me do this actually. I'm going to, instead of deriving the same, instead of using the same formula again and going through all that and whatnot, I'm going to simply use this formula now, which is all I just algebraically reworked, right? It's the mass divided by t over 2 pi, that whole thing squared was equal to k, and now I'm going to solve this for m, for the mass. So this is simply equal to the spring constant, then multiplied by the period divided by 2 pi squared. So now all I need to do is just plug that in. So the, the spring constant here was 8.77, right? The period is now 2 seconds divided by 2 pi, so the 2's cancel squared. Let's do it. So it's going to be basically 8.77 divided by pi squared. And what do we get? So we get about point, so the mass here now is going to be 0.889-ish kilograms. So this is not the mass added. This is the mass, right, of that block. So this block down here now, right, in my second picture, is 0.889 kilograms. So let me ask you a question. If this is the mass of the block that we started with, 0.5 kilograms, and now we found that the mass of the block that has an oscillation of two a period of two seconds is 0.889, how much mass did I add to the first block? Simple, right? It's just the difference. So it's going to be now 0.889 minus then 0.5. So let's simply do that. Minus then 0.5. I'm not really sure why I put it into the calculator, but I did anyway. So the mass that's added, I'll say m sub a, will be equal to now 0 0.3839. 
All right, and that is in kilograms. And that's the mass that was added. So that takes care of that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping with more problems. Take care.